here's a quick update to my Rankin's dragons. As you can see, they're very calm, just like the bearded dragons, but they're still very tiny. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you my bearded dragons really quick up here. I've shown them before. I don't want to take them out at the same time because they're kind of big. They might eat the Rankin's dragons. They'll go after anything that moves. As you can see, he's way longer than my hand. Very big. Her head's almost as long as my finger. They'll follow objects. But anyways, they're huge. My Rankin's dragons I've had for some time now, still pretty tiny. Now this is the female, and this is the male. The male is larger, you can tell his head is almost twice as big. But they're doing great. Both very calm. Easy to handle. Now these are great lizards, and I actually recommend them over bearded dragons uh, for some people. And the reason why is they are smaller. Now these guys are not full size. They will get pretty big, not huge. I'd say this guy is maybe, let's see, let's do that little measuring test with my fingers. It's about an inch, one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, maybe five or six inches long. And they can get to be about a foot long. So he's about half as big as he's gonna get. And the reason why I kind of recommend these guys over bearded dragons is they do stay smaller. So they need a smaller enclosure, and they eat less food, so they're less expensive to keep. Um, that being said, bearded dragons are awesome too, and they don't really cost that much more. But they do require more crickets, more lettuce, you know, more everything, because they are bigger lizards. But they're basically just miniature bearded dragons. They're not bearded dragons, of course, they're Rankin's dragons, they are a different species. But they look very similar, act very similar, and eat pretty much the same things. I barely handle these guys actually. Um, I haven't taken them out for probably a month, but as you can see he's still very calm. They're just very calm in nature. That's the male. Throw him back up here. This is what my birds have done to my chair, biting it all up. And this is the female. Now she's had some problems. She's gone through times where she hasn't eaten so well and she's kind of not as big, not as uh, fat, but she's just fine. As you saw in the beginning of the video, she tried to get the crickets, so she is trying to eat. She's doing good. She ate lots of crickets recently. But she's been uh, not as uh, healthy as the male. Not that she's unhealthy, but she just doesn't, uh, doesn't get quite as much food. She hasn't grown as fast. So uh, she's just fine, but the male's just really thriving. As you can see, he just looks really good. Now he also has nicer colors, but he's nice and fat. Not fat, but he's you know got a nice big size on him. She's not skinny or anything, but her legs just aren't as big either. Look at her legs, how skinny they are. He's got nice, big, strong legs. So I've been working with her, making sure she's eating, and she eats every time I throw in food, but she just doesn't seem to be getting as much food as him. But uh, just wanted to give you guys an update. These guys are the Rankin's Dragons. And uh, we'll get more videos of them eating and stuff soon. So, see you guys next time. You guys both look at the camera. Look this way. He doesn't want it.